Hi YouTube, it's Fave Sassy. Um, I'm heading to the tattoo shop and I don't even know what I'm gonna get, but I thought I would take you guys with me. So um, I posted a thing on Instagram and I was like, oh, should I get more done on my legs or should I get my throat tattooed? And everybody was going kind of nuts. Like some people are super for throat tattoos and some people are like super against them. So I thought I just wouldn't post it and I'll just post it on YouTube. So stay tuned to see what's going on. I don't know if anybody else like books tattoo sessions and has no fucking idea what they're getting, but it's fine. I do it all the time. I'll just book a full day and then you can fuck around on my hands, my legs, whatever, whatever I'm feeling that day. Two hours later. I just want this for her so she can have it. She's never probably fucking shaved her throat. <laughs> nope. This is a moment. You can never ever. You can never ever, 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 ever,
Get some coffee. Well, it is the next morning. Um, I have a wrap on it. I kind of feel like it's like choking me. Here it is. I kind of want to go get comfy, do a little chit chat. So we're going to do that. I also just want to say, um, sorry for the quality of this portion of the video. I probably should turn the lights on, but I just wasn't feeling it. So this is what you get. Come here, both of you. Come say hello. Come here. Come here. Uh, this is Maggie. Mm -hmm. My little angel. She's a little shinogu bug. And that is Mimmer. Say hi, Mimmer. It's Mia, but I call her Mimmer. My little snuggle book, too. Mm -hmm. I love my babies. I'm kind of a hot mess right now, but I feel like I look like. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Um, I feel like I look like a ratchet 90% of the time, anyways. Like, when I'm at home, I just have my hair on the top of my head, like a weenie, and it's just how it is. Uh, Mia got fixed, if you're curious about her little thing there. Um, she got fixed, and then she ate her stitches out, so then she had to get staples, and she has to wear that inflatable comb-looking thing. So that's where we're at with that. Um, I kind of wanted to, like, chit-chat with you guys, like, the morning after my tattoo. Kind of, like, let you know what's going on through my head. Um, I kind of always want to be, like, as tra transparent as possible with everybody, so I thought I would just talk about kind of, like, what's going on. Um, if you're a girl, I guess, uh, when you have super long hair, you know, when you, like, get it cut off, and at first you thought it was just, like, the best idea ever, and then you kind of, like, go into shock, like, what the fuck did I do? But then, you know, it, like, grows on you. I feel like that's kind of where I'm at right now, um... The tattoo's beautiful, it's amazing. My tattoo artist did a really good job, but like it changed my appearance so much that I'm kind of just like in shock. Like, oh my God, what did I do? Um, I love it. I don't know if it was the smartest decision. I guess that's for me to find out. Um, if I am opposed to it in the future or I think it's like a job stopper, then I definitely get laser done and get it removed and put it somewhere else. Maybe a butt cheek, I don't know. Um, I know laser is like super painful, but um, dang dogs. Um, yeah, that's kind of like my thoughts with that. I've been getting like everyone's opinion, I guess, even though it's not asked for. And I think that's kind of like what's freaking me out is like, you know, people comment like, oh, you used to be really pretty. Like, why did you do that? And like stuff like that, which is kind of hurtful or like just being like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I don't know. It is what it is, like it's done, it's my body. Um, I think bad bitches have throat tats, like I really like it. It's really dark right now. Um, all of this stippling and stuff's gonna like really lighten up. I wanted it like more of like a gray wash, like a super light neck tattoo. So we'll see how much it lightens. Just to be uh, transparent as well, um, I did talk to a tattoo removal place just in case I'm not feeling it in a few months or so. And they even said, these dang dogs. <laughs> They even said that um, if it heals too dark for like what I wanted, because I wanted it kind of light, um, that we could just lighten it or I could get it removed altogether. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I don't need to like worry about it. And like I said, your opinion doesn't fucking matter. So, that's how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. I don't really need anyone's opinion or comments on it. Like I'm the one that has to live with it. And I'm the one that has to like, you know, go back and forth in my own mind about you know, like, am I going to be able to get a decent job if I need to? Um, to be transparent, like, obviously selling motorcycle clothes in the wintertime isn't doing that great anyways. Like, it's not my busy time, so it's been a little rough. Um, we just redid this living room. We put new carpet in and stuff. Um, and, yeah, I just dropped seven grand on cabinets for my new kitchen. And then I had to buy a truck for Renegade Babes. Um, so I had to get a loan on that, which was kind of stressful, and I just feel like I've just been throwing money constantly, so my bank account's a little low, so I'm just kind of stressed out, but it's fine. Everything's gonna work out. Um, I could get a job working from home if I need to, which I think I'm gonna start applying. Like I said, being transparent with you guys. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. I don't need your negative comments. If you want to tell me how good it looks, that's fine. 
thank you appreciate it but like yeah i don't need anybody else's comments like on it like i don't know i'm the one that has to live with it and like i said i'm kind of like back and forth on it at this moment and i think that's just because it's like so much of a change to me but um yeah and i also wanted to say man my dogs are <laughs> active today um so like renegade babes and renegade clothing co my like two businesses i chose the word renegade because the exact definition is a person who behaves in a rebelliously unconventional manner and i feel like you know that's this neck tattoo like maybe neck and face tattoos mia <laughs> are not you know very well accepted in society which i think they will be eventually but um you know i just have to be a little rebel um i got the butterfly because i had a twin sister who died when we were just over one and on her tombstone is like a little girl holding butterflies and they're like flying out of her hand so that's why i got this specific piece um which means a lot to me a lot of people didn't know that i was a twin and she died and stuff and like you know the way she died was very traumatic for my family and that was like a big part of my life so um you know maybe i shouldn't have got on my throat but the piece means so much to me that like you know i really like it and yeah so send some love if you want but um i don't need any hate um yeah so i'm gonna try to start doing some more youtubes so youtubes i'm gonna I fucking hate myself <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to start recording some more videos for YouTube and kind of like be on um, different platforms and stuff just to be like more vulnerable, show you guys like, you know, my real self. Um, I just did a podcast on the Fast Life podcast. I just did an interview on Get Bent Moto on their YouTube channel. I can drop that below so you can check it out. In a few weeks, I'm gonna be on the Five Dirty Bikers podcast. So I'm looking forward to that. And then my friend Sherry and I are also planning on starting our own podcast. So that should be fun. Super excited for that. Um, on there, we really want to share like embarrassing stories, have on some really cool guests, um, talk about weird things people say to us like at the gas station, you know, just normalize the things that we all kind of go through. Talk about, you know, dropping our bikes, whatever. I just want to like normalize all of our fuck ups. So that's the plan with that. Um, my dogs are being crazy. Um, with, with Renegade Babes, we plan on going down to Daytona the first weekend. So I'll be there, I believe the third through the seventh. So I'll only be there for three days. So if you want to meet me, you want to hang out, you want to ride, whatever, hit me up because I'm not going to be there the whole time. Um, I'm going to have a booth at the Hardcore Cycles show. I believe that's the sixth. It's a Sunday. So we'll have the Renegade booth there. So you're more than welcome to come say hello. Um, yeah, my first event I went to, I literally like was nervous to even say hi to people that I followed on the internet. Like I personally have social anxiety and I just feel like a weirdo all the time. And I just want you to know, like, if you feel that way, it's okay. And even if you come up to me and say the weirdest shit, like it's going to be okay. I promise I've been there. Like, it's fine. I welcome everybody. Um, I would love to meet you. So yeah, that's how I feel about that. So um, we're also going to go to Bikes, Brews, and Barbecue um, in Virginia Beach. I believe that's in May. I'll have to double check the um, dates, but I'll be posting that. Um, so that's kind of the plan. I don't know what else we have going on. Charlie and I will be going on a family trip down to Gulf Shores, Alabama in April. So if you're in that area and you want to meet up, um, we plan on meeting up with Emerald Coast. So that should be cool. Um, excited to do that. And I think that's all we have planned so far. Obviously, I have my camp out um, the weekend of July 22nd in Ottawa, Ohio. Tickets are going to go on sale for that here shortly. I think we're planning on dropping those February 1st, but we're still working with our sponsors and dealerships. So if you want to sponsor our event and be on our shirts, that's awesome. I can send you our sponsor packages. Or if you would like to vendor our event, set up a booth, you have a food truck, whatever, all brands are welcome. Um, booths are free for small vendors and we just ask that you donate something to our raffle to give away to the people that are there but these damn dogs <laughs> it should be a really good time i'm really excited for it we have a few bands that you know we've got and we're lining up some food trucks and should be a really good time hey i'm trying to record here these girls sleep all day and as soon as i turn the camera on it's playtime go figure hey stop it 
If you're interested in going to my tattoo artist, his name is Frederick Story. He is located in Linden, Michigan, which is over by Flint. The name of his shop is Frederick's Tattoo Gallery, and it's just a one-man shop. He's a fantastic artist. Um, he did my whole arm. He did my leg, which I can show you guys in a second. Um, he's just super talented, like the only artist I'll go to now. I just love him. I usually book a full day, and then obviously just get done whatever I feel like. Um, but yeah, so I will see if I can drop like his Facebook thing, his Facebook page. He doesn't really do Instagram, but he's like starting to get into that. But um, if you want to check out his work, his Facebook is where I would go. And yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. Very clean shop, very professional, very nice guy. Um, the shop's super cool if you saw the footage. And yeah, I just love it there. It's very safe, very comfortable feeling shop. Like you don't feel like you're in like a ghetto shop by any means. Um, he's a big family guy. He's in the motorcycles, rat rods, really all the cool shit. So yeah, check him out. I feel like running a business is like Christmas all of the time. Like you get so many boxes in and I love packages, but it's always business related. So I thought I would take you guys along with me to open some of the stuff I got in. So this one ain't even for me. Okay, so these are blanks. I need to grab a knife. <laughs> So I ordered um, some blank tees. I make all of the two wheel honey shirts myself along with the skull and wrench silver glitter. There's a few other designs I made in the past as well, but those are the current designs I have. And <clears throat> I am dropping white tank tops for Daytona and I'm printing those myself. They have like a little tiger design on them. I don't normally open this stuff up in my living room, but I thought this would be a better spot for light. Um, it's kind of my favorite room right now, but I normally work in the basement. So, ooh, I'm so excited. It's my first time seeing this design printed. Um, whew. This is my splitting lane shirt that I'm dropping, especially for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, splitting lanes and breaking hearts. Oh my god, it looks so good. I'm so excited. So this is the front. It's more of a um, big print instead of like the small in the left side. I, I kind of dig the big prints a little better. I can show you up close. Um, Renegade and then Babes is in cursive. Cute. Then the back is three girls splitting lanes between a truck and an El Camino. Splitting lanes and breaking hearts. Renegade babes. Uh, look at the detail in it. I'm literally obsessed. I cannot. Oh, I'm so excited. These will be up um, as soon as I get a photo shoot done. I need to hit up one of my photographers and get a photo shoot done. Um, I'm really liking the vibe of the photo shoots and girls wearing the shirts or guys wearing the shirts and getting pictures taken instead of doing like the digital file where it's just like what the shirt's supposed to look like. I just think it's nice to see the shirts on different body types and stuff. That is probably one of my favorite shirts. I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> Be perfect for Valentine's Day. Now you think she's helping. Is you helping? Ooh. So excited. This is the wheelie babe shirt and I drew this design. I'm obsessed with it. I know a lot of girls like don't do wheelies and aren't into it, but it's still a really cool shirt. Look at her palm. Are you needy? Yeah, he's needy. Um, I have a few girls I want to send this to too. They're like just badass chicks, but here's the design. I drew it myself. Um, it's a girl doing a wheelie and then it's just got like the renegade logo. 
So I figured guys could wear this too because it's fucking cool. It's not very girly. A lot of dudes do wheelies. So I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute. I'm obsessed. Move, Maggie. Get back. Check out the detail in it. Oh, I just love it. It's just like graffiti -y and edgy and I'm just all about it. So all of this will be posted as soon as I get a shoot done. So let me know if there's anything else you guys wanna see. Just thought this would be a cool way to give you like a little sneak peek of what I've got going on. Um, yeah, I've got a few more shirts dropping soon. One of them is just gonna be like the logo, but kind of like faded and super cool. So I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, I'm pumped. Anyways, have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe, follow my channel. Yeah. Maggie says, goodbye YouTube.